All right, here we are again. So, on this job, what we're going to be doing, there's a base unit going here. So I've just had to take that radiator off, bin it off outside. And then there's a tall radiator going in here. Just took that socket off and just capped it off like that for now. So it's going to be getting moved. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start marking out for where this radiator is going to go. Tubular style radiators. Now she was supposed to be getting the double, but she's only got the single. But that old radiator, what was here, only put three and a half thousand BTUs out. This one puts uh, six thousand six hundred, I think. The double one would have put nine thousand out, but she just wanted to have something what was more than their existing. Yeah. Uh, Initially position the radio at the desired location, check the level, mark four equal positions for the brackets, once measured mark and drill the holes, fix the brackets to the wall with the screws, hooks, right so basically there's a template so I'm just going to work this out for myself, and I'll take measure. So, that's 1880. So let's get it equidistant. Just check the height of this. So this is two, two four eight. Yeah. So we got the two four eight zero is the height of the ceiling, floor to ceiling. It's usually two four, so a bit off that. Anyway. Size of that is 1880, leaves you 600 mil. So what we want is the top of the radiator, 600 mil divided by two is 300. So we want the bottom of the radiator at 300 there, top of the radiator 300 down from there. So we'll start by getting that measured out. Mark 300. I'll just mark the level across, which is going to be just been going to be painting again. So these more packing than a bloody packing thing. There's the one gone. So here's the uh, the brackets. So these want to be lining up that way around. And if I just look on the side for you there, see that hung there? That is dead centre to this. But what I think I'm going to do is measure the distance from the top of the radiator to there. And what I'll do is I'll just where's my tape measure again. So two, 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 two,
20 mil. So that means we're going to drop that down 20 mil from that line there. And they need to be mm, two, three, five centre. Two, three, five. So where's my pencil going in? What I've also got to mark as well is where the base unit's going to go. Let's just move that there. Right, so that's getting 18 mil. And then we've got a thousand base unit. There. Then we've got 18 mil end panel, which is there. Right. So now we measure. So what we got there? We have got eight, eight four. So that's. 804, so that's 402. He's dead centre. And 402 there. And we've got 402. There. <sighs> that should be dead centre there. 170. 170 from so from the center where I've just stuck that point there we've got no we haven't we've got 120 to where the bracket wants to go so what we're doing is about 120 there and we're about 120 there and that should equal 240, so between that point and that point, 240, that fits. Okay, let's just knock a mil, mil off there, and a mil off there, just to give us a bit more space. Right, and then I'll set 20 mil from the top. I shouldn't be such a short ass. There. 20 mil, so these are the big numbers. There. So that's the top of the brackets. And I'll get them to fix first. Oops. Bloody floating down outside. Do you ever one of them pipe moments where you go up to your vehicle and it doesn't start? I had that this morning with all the snow we had. Vehicle for us. Wouldn't start, just dead cold battery. So um, I had to get as many tools as I could in the back of my car. And you always turn up the job and you've forgotten one. So here you go. I should that's going there. Then what we need to do. Where's my step? Got the short ass tool. Uh, so what was I saying? Right, so that hook is going to go there. That's 20 mil down. <coughs> so when that sits on there, it can come to that height there. Uh, that line there is the position where the bracket's going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that down there. And I'm going to draw that down there. 
So what I'm actually going to do is mark out where our fixing is going to go. There we go. So if that's correct, that's there and that's there, we should just be able to stand that in place and it should line up with a bit of luck and a back wind. Right, let's just lift that up. We should see. Yep, there's both our brackets. The lines are in place. So we'll get them fixed to the wall. Now this is a dot and dab wall. So we're going to be using some uh, grip it fixings. So you need to drill a hole with your spade bit. And so you can buy these with the drill bit provided. What's that? Oh, it's on. Oh, that was my phone ringing. 18 mil and they're specifically designed for either stud walls or dot and dab walls so you can get in behind the board and they are they are good to be honest I've mounted a few radiators with them now and um, televisions let's just get that out of me yeah Show the old man had a power cut. That had a brewing ages. That's in there. And so let's get a couple of these. And these have got a. Let me just see. You've put these. Can I do it with this? There you go. Look. If it wants to win, you turn the screw and the wings open out behind. And because it's not so small, it's got a greater surface area, you're not just going to pull straight back through. So we'll get them pushed in. Oh, there's actually a little marker, so you're going to make sure you put these the right way up. And it's always difficult to see. So if I remember what I did last time. Okay, so I've marked them both with a pencil, so I know where the upper part is. And let's just get that in there. You've got to get these the right way up so the wings open out correctly. Give them a little tap on. And in, turn, in, turn. How cool is that? What I think I'm going to do, put a couple of brackets on the wall temporarily. Oh dear. Get another bracket. These are the screws what came with it. Right, I'm 
need to stop them from spinning so I'll just put a couple of screws in for now right I'm gonna put a couple of screws in here just to stop it spinning for now There's a rough idea of what your radiator is going to look like. I'd rather use the hand build screw rather than the impact because it's a bit more fraggle is this. It's a see if we can hang the radiator. The red! Good old red! Oh yeah, daddy -o. screws in yet. There we go. How's that looking? I'm a bit out of frame there. I don't mind that at all. The, um, yeah. Quite pleased. Let's go a bit closer. Let's see where the hooks just come around there. Around there. The other two up there, up there. Uh, yeah, there you go. So there is actually some plastic bits to put on them. So we'll put that on now, now that works. Yeah, there's the plastic trims you put in, look. So they just push straight onto there. And around. Oh, I'm saying they just go on there. I've just put a couple of screws in there, just stop it spinning again. Yeah, let's just... Oh yeah, perfection. I don't know how to do it with just one brain. There we go. So that is its place where it's going to be. So the next thing will be to get the remainder of the fixings in, which I'm not going to film, no point. And then work out the plumbing from there down across to these two pipes here. Bear in mind, most of this is going to be hidden behind a unit. Right, I'm going to have a brew. See you in a bit. <laughs> 